What's up guys, my name is Chris and today I'm talking to you guys about four practical uses for EV Synth. Now the thing is with EV Synth, whenever I was looking around online, a lot of people were discussing and debating about the actual practical uses for this. A lot of people just didn't see the purpose or didn't see like a need for it or just this stuff that people just weren't really understanding the point for the software. And the point for the software, in my opinion, is that you can do anything you want with it. You can do this for as many different things and it can fill so many different roles without taking the control out of our hands. So that being said, here are my four most practical uses for EV Synth that I really enjoy getting to play around with and use and just have fun with. And quick little thing, this is coming up the day after Thanksgiving, the wonderful Black Friday. I'm working today, but hopefully you guys aren't. Hopefully you guys are getting to spend a lot of time with your families. I hope you guys enjoy this day. Hope you have a fantastic Black Friday and I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I love you guys. Enjoy your time with your families. Let's get into this video. So that being said, the first one I have is having fun with it. I mean, honestly, getting to just do stupid stuff like putting a mustache on my face or making my face look old or just doing these big things that would take forever with like, say, deep fakes or with uh, all these other softwares or actual de-aging effects. It takes forever and so much time, energy, and just effort. And at the end of the day, if I'm just trying to do this stupid effect just for an Instagram post or just for like a, hey guys, look what I can do to my friends, there's no reason to spend hours upon hours upon hours doing it whenever I can just pop it in EV synth, throw it on there, and I can all of a sudden have a Markiplier mustache on my face. And that Wolford Warstache! The next practical use I have for it is actually green screening. Now, this is something I saw somebody do on Twitter and I wanted to try it out myself, and I've been getting some pretty cool examples for it. But just by having EV Synth and using it and keying out your background, you can get some really freaking cool green screen effects and it's honestly pretty good, in my opinion. This is not like any level of green screen, like if you had an actual green screen, obviously it'd be better. But this is a really good like basic level of green screen that you can do just by having this thing going and just by keyframing it yourself out of it. Now point number three for this is actually stylistic choices within a video. So say something, for example, like Loving Vincent. Now that movie was painstakingly hand-painted and it was absolutely amazing. It was a beautiful film. I loved every aspect of it. But I don't, I don't have the skills necessary to paint anything like that. Like I have no, nowhere near the ability to paint something that amazing, let alone do every frame for this entire thing. So using EV Synth allows me to make these stylistic choices and actually like EV synthing this and making it a Vincent Van Gogh painting, which you guys know if you've watched this channel at all, that is literally a weakness and that is like the dream that EV synth made come true for this, is that EV synth let me Vincent Van Gogh a video and that was like a literal dream come true for me. So stylistic choices are like probably my biggest and favorite thing that you can do with this and it's the most practical thing you can do with it is just these super stylistic and super new styles that you guys get to create and you guys get to add to video that would take hundreds of man hours usually to put out there. So again, simplicity and making super stylistic videos that I think look amazing and can look so sweet and cool and just lets you stretch your creativity to completely new bounds that nobody's ever like had the ability to do without like thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours to do the things. So. Yeah, there's point number three, and that's really the simplest way I can put it down for you guys, honestly. And point number four, and probably the most obvious of any point when it comes to EV Synth, is dream sequences. Dream sequences are something that EV Synth can amazingly excel at and amaze people with, just because at the end of the day, you can make anything you want happen with EV Synth and make it look any way you want it. Be super stylistic. I guess this kind of does fit in with the whole stylistic choices thing. But I have plans for a short form right now that I'm actually wanting to use EV Synth for, and this is going to be heavily EV Synth in the short film. So by doing this, it's going to open up a lot of first off render times are going to be insane for me. But then also a lot of this is only able to be done because it is in a dream, honestly. Like a bulk of this short film takes place in a dream, which means most of this stuff doesn't have to make sense. It just kind of has to flow well. And I think EV Synth really works well for this because nothing actually works perfectly. There's still those little bits of blur, there's those glitches that you get, and I think that'll just add to the effect. Whereas if I was doing something in After Effects or just trying to add these effects overlaid, then I don't think they'd have as much of an impact or they won't have as much of an effect than this actually will by doing this short from an EV synth. 
So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that subscribe button right here on my chest or down below in the description. And if you guys want to see more of these different EV Synth videos, right over here is a tutorial playlist I have for EV Synth. And right over here is actually a video YouTube is suggesting for you guys, which if you're watching my channel, it's odds are an EV Synth video. So if it is, I hope you guys enjoy it. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.